Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm back here w with our patient, and we did tighten down to 15 newton centimeters uh, each one of the uh, prosthetic screws for the multi-unit abutments. Uh, we found that uh, he had some some uh, bleeding, not only bleeding, but some pus coming from uh, both numbers uh, four, excuse me, five, four, excuse me, four implant side of four and thirteen, and on the side of thirteen he had some that was fenestrating through um, the buckle fold here so I went ahead and made a small little drain and incised it to the bone so that it would drain naturally so a little surprise but maybe it's good that we were able to catch it now and and uh, put the, put him on antibiotics uh, all right and with the occlusion just as what we covered before we have contacts on all his posteriors now that's what we wanted so we share distribution between front and back teeth. We're going to place polyvinyl siloxane in each one of these um, orifices now. And the, the reason is is because we, we may have to be back in there in a week. We hope not to, but we can also, um, you know, uh, recheck the screws, make sure that they all are tight. So very simply, you just go in and place in this orifice and here the PBS. And then uh, back in a week, all right? And uh, not to worry if one of the plugs comes out. It's not a big deal as long as everything is securely tight. And hand tightening, you can actually feel the metal the metal interface and how well that is on each one of the screws. That there's no um, further tightening. Um, your fingers would feel that movement. Um, but because... Um, because they all bottom out at the same, there's no rocking, or it's a passive, intimate fit. Uh, really, the screws don't have to work as hard. And now that the bite is, is better, we'll move forward. So I'm just going to do one more little check with the bite, and that should sum things up. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, we'll see you guys in a week with uh, the finale.